Hi friends, let's paint a lovebird painting on glass. So here we go. This painting is actually done on glass in reverse. This is called a reverse glass painting. And they're so fun to do. It's kind of like coloring in a coloring book. You get to do a little bit of drawing and a little bit of painting and it's so fun. So first off, I'll let you know I take the piece of glass off a picture frame and then I use a Sharpie and I just kind of draw in the details that I want to go on the glass. Um, so in this case for my lovebirds, I made a little heart shape because I kind of want them to be, you know, kind of Valentine friendly. Anyway, and then I draw a tiny little beak on each of them. Their beaks are very small. And then I draw some little eyeballs kind of right next to the beaks. Their eyeballs are kind of shaped like seeds. I kind of think like little apple seeds. And then I'm drawing in my branches, little toes perched on the branches. And you can see right there, I had a little piece of uh, line there that I didn't want there. Well, permanent marker wipes off really easily with like a damp paper towel. Um, just be careful and wipe off the little parts that you don't like. It's really forgiving. That's why I like working with it. So next I use some white Posca markers to go ahead and add details to um, my birds. I outline the, the eyes and also I color in the beaks and the toes. And now I'm adding some Posca roses around it. They're just kind of like little flower details. So how I did those was to kind of start with a little curly cue in the center. And then around the little curly cue, I add little C-shaped lines. And they don't have to be connected or anything, and nothing really exact. This is just supposed to look kind of whimsical and silly. Um, and then I went around also with pink Posca markers and added more details. Um, Posca markers or paint markers are not necessary. You can just go straight to paintbrush if you want. You don't have to use paint markers. I only started using them recently just because they're a lot of fun. And they're kind of a time saver, but they're not mandatory for this. So then for my lovebirds, I added red for the faces. They kind of have uh, red coral colored faces, I think, and then kind of this lime green around for the bodies. Um, and you just kind of color it in like a little coloring book. And it turns out really cute. And then so I'm adding some brown in for the branches. And don't worry if you overlap some of the stuff. Um, that's kind of the nature of uh, reverse glass painting is that you have to watch your layers because you may accidentally paint over a layer that you didn't want. But again, like I said, it's really forgiving. You can just wipe it off with a paper towel. Um, the only most important part, I think, is just to let your layers dry before you move on to the next layer. And you just kind of color it in like a coloring book, and there you go. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.